A shiny new dragon gets serenaded in the final episode of season one of House of the Dragon. But which dragon was that? And where did it come from? Spoilers ahead. The finale of House of the Dragon season one is finally here, bringing with it the true beginning of the Targaryen civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. Prior to the episode's jaw-dropping climax, Daemon Targaryen and the rest of the Blacks loyal to Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen devised a strategy for their inevitable conflict with the Greens, a faction led by Queen Alicent Hightower and King Aegon II. During these battle preparations, much is made of the fact that the Blacks have a far greater number of dragons than the Greens. Specifically, they currently own seven dragons to the Greens' four, though one of those four is Vagar, the largest dragon in the land. On top of that, Daemon also asserts that there are a slew of unclaimed dragons which can still be claimed and bound to their cause, including the legendary Vermithor and Silverwing, who both reside on the Dragon Mount. That puts the final dragon count at… Dragonstone has thirteen to their four. I also have a score of eggs incubating in the Dragon Mount. Later in the episode, we actually see Daemon singing in High Valyrian to Vermithor in a cave, though you may not have realized it at the time since this immense bronze dragon is only identified through subtitles. Adding to the confusion is the fact that we aren't given information about how Vermithor first arrived on Dragon Mount, nor who his writer was before he landed there. But the show's source material, Fire and Blood, has the answers. Minor spoilers for that book starting now. To understand the importance of Vermithor, nicknamed the Bronze Fury for his unmistakable bronze hide, you first have to recognize the fact that his first writer was none other than King Jaehaerys Targaryen I, who we first met back in Episode 1 during a flashback to the Great Council of 101 AC, wherein he named Viserys as his heir. Vermithor stayed by King Jaehaerys' side until the king's death, at which point the dragon fled to a cavern within the volcano known as the Dragon Mount. Vermithor has since brooded there throughout the entire reign of King Viserys, and when we meet him in House of the Dragon, he's nearly 100 years old. In the books, it's said that only Vagar and Beleriand the Black Dread, Aegon the Conqueror's dragon, were larger than Vermithor, making him the second largest dragon in all of House of the Dragon, and an important weapon for the Blacks, should they successfully claim him for their side. Despite the fact that we don't see any other dragons during Daemon's surprising confrontation with Vermithor, it's worth noting that he shares his home on the Dragon Mount with another riderless dragon, Silverwing, originally the dragon of Queen Alysanne Targaryen, wife of King Jaehaerys. According to the Fire and Blood chapter The Dying of the Dragons, it's said that Silverwing and Vermithor also mated following their riders' deaths, and although their specific lineage is not confirmed within the books, this is significant due to Daemon's previous claim about having a score of eggs incubating in the Dragon Mount. Indeed, on top of the potential power that would be brought to the Blacks should they successfully claim the mass of Vermithor, it's possible that Vermithor and Silverwing have provided them with another clutch of eggs to secure the future of their faction. Although it's currently unclear what role Vermithor will play in the next season of House of the Dragon, his unexpected appearance in the season finale makes it clear that he and his potential brood of eggs could become an important part of the story moving forward.